Hey guys, Marcus here. In this video, I'm going to review the Garmin Forerunner 245 Music. I'm going to share with you all the important information that you need to know, construction, features, how to use this, all of that. So let's start. So let's talk about the construction. Screen size is 1.2 inches. The display is made out of Gorilla Glass 3 and the strum material is silicone. And you can remove it right here. And now comes the first advantage, but it can be also disadvantage, is that this smartwatch is not touch sensitive. So you can't operate it with the touch, you have to use the buttons on the three on the left and two on the right side. And right now I'm going to show you what you can do with the buttons. So when you're gonna press the top left one, you're gonna lighten up the screen. If you're gonna hold it, you will get here to the menu and I will explain you further in the video what you're gonna find in the menu. Then when you're gonna press the middle left one, you will get here to the widgets. When you're gonna press the bottom left one, you will get again to the widgets. So that's how you're gonna find all the data here. But if you're gonna hold it, the middle one, you're going to get here to the settings. Now, let's say you want to get to the sport activities, you're gonna press this button here. And you can easily go up and down with the two buttons on the left. And then when you're gonna press this one, this means back. So when I go to sport activities and I want to go back, I just press this button. And this is how the buttons work. Also the Forerunner 245 Music got 5 ATM rating and that means you can easily take them to shower or even to swimming. And about the battery life, you can have seven days on watch mode, but let's say that you want to use this with the GPS and also music, you're gonna get up to six hours, which in my opinion is great. And now let me talk to you about the features that you're going to find in Forerunner 245 Music. So of course you're going to have the heart rate, the body battery, like the SpO2 here, the blood oxygen monitoring, the steps, GPS tracking, notifications, weather, stress tracking even, uh, the music. This is something I'm going to talk to you about more that you're going to have up to 500 songs in uh, music storage on this watch and also you can easily connected with the Spotify or Deezer. Then when you can go further, you're gonna have the sleep monitoring, the Garmin Pay, uh, notifications, suggested workouts, and not only that. The one thing that I especially really like is the live track feature. The live track feature is going to let your friends and family follow your real-time location and even view your entire course where you want to run, let's say. And this is amazing because let's say that you're gonna run in the morning or you want to run in the evening, you're gonna actually like let know your family members that, hey there, I'm right now here. So this is something amazing in my opinion. And not only you're gonna have all these features, you're gonna have also the running dynamics, uh, the training status, recovery time, training load, intensity minutes, training effect. So this smartwatch is packed with features on how actually small and lightweight it is. Now let me talk to you about how we can actually use this watch. The learning curve is a little bit higher, but after a while I really believe you can understand it. So now when you're gonna press down and up, as I mentioned, you're gonna find widgets here. So let's say the health starts here. And you see, for example, this is the heart rate, the stress levels, and also uh, the battery. battery. Then when I go further, I have uh, my day here. And again, I can press here and find steps and I can open it and find like even further data. Then when I go further, SPO2, notifications here, uh, the weather, the calendar here, and then the music that you can easily connect with the Spotify or Deezer and the history. And then and last run. And this is the time with the battery percentage here. So when you're gonna press again and hold the middle button, you're gonna have the watch face. So when I'm going to press it, I can change to various watch faces. And then also when I'm going to press the settings again, I can have the alarm clock here, history, and then the activities, widgets. And if I want, I can edit the widgets here. And you can have lost swim, lost ride, 
heart rate, steps, calories. And these are the widgets that you can add. Now, when I go even further and I go back and I'm going to hold the top left button, I can find the power off, then find my phone, timers, stopwatch, lock key, do not disturb, sync, connected and assistance here. And then when I'm going to press right here, the start stop, I see like running here and I can press like, okay. And then I have the options, so I'm going to press up and I can have the run settings here, right? And you can have a lot of settings that you can change. And this is something I really like about this watch, how complex it is and how many features you're going to find in it. So then you can have the training here, set the target, training calendar, all of that. And then when you're going to go further, you're just going to press like here and then start. And then let's say that you want to stop it. Right now I paused it. I resume it. I stop it again. And I can save it. So that's pretty much it, how we can use it. And this is how the app looks like. So we're going to have the body battery here, the heart rate. You can always uh, click on the heart rate and you're going to find all the data right here. Also, you're going to have the stress levels. And again, you're going to have more data. Let's say the steps here. And as you can see, in the morning, I was walking a lot. So right now, not much. And you can see it right here. So this is something that I like. And even the app is literally perfect for understanding uh, what is happening with your body. You can have the calories here, the floors, the respiration, and then you're going to have the activity here for like yesterday and the last seven days. So for me, even the app is a 10 out of 10 and I definitely recommend it. And now the question is, do I actually recommend the 400 245? I absolutely do. I love the design. It is not big at all. Also, the buttons are working great. It's fast and effective. Like so many features that you're going to find in this small thing is crazy. So for me, these are definitely five out of five. Even when you can connect it to uh, Spotify or Deezer, you can listen to music with this. It's just amazing. Also, the battery life is great. So thank you very much for watching. Hope we are going to have a great day and goodbye.